Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. And first of all, before we dive into today's video, a very highly requested topic. I want to thank all of you for the amazing love and the lovely comments that you left on the previous video. While I do talk about pageant preparation and what is the process and researching and about different pageants, I also decided to talk about how you can start preparing for a pageant right away. And that was something that you guys suggested when I recently did an AMA on my Instagram and asked you guys what type of content would you like to see on this channel in the year 2022. And so I've taken into account all of your suggestions and believe me, you are going to enjoy the content that I'm going to put forward. There's a lot of diversification and new type of things that I also want to talk about and show on my channel in the coming year. So thank you first of all for just starting my year with a boost of motivation because of you guys, your views and your comments. Now as you've seen in the title, the topic that we're going to talk about today is how to get sponsors to help you in your pageant preparation. Something that is a little sensitive and sometimes a tricky conversation to have, especially because you're really asking for a favor and asking for free products or free services. And so I get how that can be a little intimidating for people to start that conversation. And because not everybody has the resources to be able to pay in full for everything that you actually need for your pageant preparation. And so this is where I come in to help you tell you how you can actually strike those deals, make those conversations. And what are those contestants doing that you see? How did she get that outfit from that designer? Or how did that clinic sponsor her treatment? How is she getting all those people to help her on board. I'm going to give you a few ways in today's video as to how you can actually get your hospitality partner to sponsor you, makeup artists, photographers, designers, and what you should be doing on your behalf to make that conversation work out. The first thing that you have to make a list of is if you've been modeling, then you obviously have an extra edge over other contestants. And so get in touch with the designers that you have worked with before. If you have done any collaboration photo shoots, because those designers would be slightly more approachable for you to have that conversation where you can borrow clothes for them for a certain time period. Even if you have not been modeling or do not know any designers professionally, you can find out in your family, your friends, if you happen to know the owner of any boutique studio and just go on Instagram and see which designer's aesthetic matches with your style the most. Just because you need a sponsor does not mean that you will go out and ask anybody to sponsor you just for the garment because it needs to be your style. It needs to be representative of you and what you are going to show yourself as during a pageant. So be very selective even while getting sponsors on board. Now, once you have a list of people that you want to contact, and ask if they would be interested in sponsoring your wardrobe, maybe fully or maybe partially, and you can decide how many garments would you be borrowing from them. Now, to make that conversation, there are two ways you can do that. Either you can actually set up a meeting or a call with them, or you can draft an official email and send it out onto their official email address, whichever way you feel that the designer is more approachable. And in that agreement message or piece of information that you're going to be sharing with any sponsor for this matter, you're going to tell them one about you a little bit. They need to know who you are, what your experience is, how much publicity and what is in it for them. Why should they sponsor your garments? One point would obviously be that you are going for so-and-so pageant, but not every pageant has the same amount of visibility. And so you will also have to tell them more specifics about the pageant if they are mostly not going to be aware about it. Apart from that, you can tell them what they will get in return for sponsoring you with that much money, but mostly it turns out to be products and services. And so if you are going to be asking for two evening gowns, you will tell them these are the deliverables that I can offer you. That is how all commercial collaborations work. You have to figure out what is the benefit for one party and what are the deliverables to be given by the other party if it's a barter basis collaboration. And so that includes how many pictures or OOTD posts would you make tagging the designers. Credits on social media are so important. If you don't have a very strong social media profile right now, I would say that does play a factor and come into picture when asking for sponsors because they are looking for visibility and promotion if you're not going to be paying them for the garment. And so have a strong sense of social media visibility in your profile, which I have already spoken about. It's actually a very important part of 
being a pageant contestant in general. The other thing that you can offer the designer is that you would do a lookbook photo shoot or a catalog photo shoot for the designer for free of charge. That is something through which not just do they benefit and get pictures of a potential title holder winner, but you also get pictures for your portfolio. I believe that's a win-win situation anyway. The other thing that you can offer is that you would make one or two free appearances as a guest because you are a public figure, you have a certain title. So maybe they want you to launch their next design studio or any other event or maybe they have a pop-up shop and they want you to be there as a guest so that you can promote it or how much you can give to them in return for what they are offering you for free because there is no such thing as a free lunch. You have to make sure that the deal is equally profitable for both parties when you're asking for sponsors. The other thing that you have to keep in mind while having a sponsor, especially a designer, is you will have to discuss on what date will you get the garment? Will it be altered according to you or is it going to be adjusted if any changes are going to be there for customizing the garment for you? The next thing you would discuss beyond the deliverables is what date are you going to return the garment on and it has to be returned in good condition. There have been instances where sometimes there's a tear in it and the contestant doesn't tell the designer that will actually end up ruining your long term relationship with the designer and whoever these sponsors are going to be a part of your team you have to thank them and acknowledge their contribution to your overall pageant performance and these people will stick with you long term because there will be several more events and activities where you would need outfits and where you would need their support and services and products still so make sure that your relationship building skills are also top notch the other thing is you would have to dry clean the garment and return it and make sure that there's no perfume scent stain or anything or any damage done to the garment why I'm saying these things is because it's possible that the outfit that you have borrowed from the designer is later lent to someone else because the designer might be doing it with several people being a sponsor or maybe a celebrity wants to borrow that outfit for an event or maybe there's a client who wants to purchase that garment and so you have to make sure that it is in the exact condition that you had gotten it in while you are returning that piece of clothing. There could be two approaches as to how this works. Either the designer would have an existing garment that would suit your requirements, would fit you beautifully, and then you can just borrow it. The other thing is if the designer is willing to stitch and create an outfit for you, and that depends again on how you have pitched yourself and what is your relationship with the designer. In that case, it is possible that you can get it for a cheaper price, or maybe they can lend it to you for that duration, but again, you do have to return it. And make sure that whenever you're working on the creation of your evening gown design or any garment maybe your national costume while you will have your inputs but while choosing your own designer make sure that you also let them have the liberty to be as creative as they want because you have to show that you trust their skills and trust their knowledge of the piece and try not to micromanage the process too much and these are all tried and tested techniques because i myself had two to three wardrobe sponsors during my miss india journey some of them were through mutual friends who believed that i had the potential to represent the state very well and i did a free catalog shoot for the designer as a collection of her garments while she obviously sponsored a couple of the garments from her collection for me which were very useful to me during my Cox and Kings video, during my pageant journey as well. Even last minute, sometimes you run out of outfits. And so not just did I have sponsors in Hyderabad, but also someone in Mumbai to help me because towards the end of the pageant, there were actually, I was short of some outfits because we needed one or two extra outfits. And I, at that time, did not wish to repeat another previous outfit. And so I actually was able to go to the designer studio in Mumbai itself and borrow outfits from there as well for the next one or two days so that's another smart strategy to use that make sure that not just do you have sponsors in your home city but also in the city or the location where the pageant is happening because you're going to be traveling there anyway so just like i said that you can get your smile makeover done in mumbai when you travel for your pageant similarly you can also have designers that you have spoken to beforehand and reach mumbai probably a few days earlier so that you can get some of your outfits from there too i will be leaving a couple of the names and suggestions of designers who are usually working with pageant contestants in the description box below 
So don't forget to check that out. The next thing that we can talk about is your skincare treatments or your hair treatments during which hair and skin clinics or salons can be really helpful. And so again, the approach to this step is also the same that you have to do your research, see who you know and who you don't know and which salon chain or which clinic is big on social media exposure and social media promotions and would want to be associated with people in this industry that will give you a very good idea of which type of clinics you can approach and you can actually get heavy discounts if not the entire service for free and make sure that you give them a lot of reels and instagram posts and that is how you can contribute to their visibility and you can also work on them on a long-term basis by saying that if you give them multiple referrals how they can also get some benefits and that would help your audience to also want to go to the same service provider. So that way you can work out a mutual agreement which benefits both parties. You can do something similar with a gym partner or a fitness studio as well. And you can actually help them create content and show your transformation journey as probably a YouTube video or an Instagram reel. And if they would be really big on social media exposure and models and pageants is something that they want to be associated with they would be very very interested in offering you discounts or being a sponsor for your journey and you can actually just give them a lot of visibility online make sure that the state you're representing or any local area that you're representing a lot of your audience would want to avail the same services, go to the same salon that you do, so go to the same gym person that you do. And so you have to constantly promote them and how frequently are you going to promote them on your social media? Could be weekly, could be monthly. That depends on a case-to-case -case basis, but this is how you are supposed to ask these people and not just does it provide content for them, but also for you to be able to post that you are preparing for your pageant with so many partners. And so that's always a good sign for an organization as well, that the contestant knows how to make sponsors and how to get association deals. And so she's going to be a good brand and a good face of our organization. The next type of sponsor that you can approach is going to be your venue or hotel sponsor. Now you would think that how am I going to really use a hotel sponsor or a travel sponsor also for that matter. So there are two types of approaches here. One, you can actually get in touch with a travel agency who promotes women traveling trips. I think that would be a smart move. Approach them and see if they would want to sponsor your flight tickets or your travel for the pageant. Similarly, with hospitality or hotel sponsors, they can not just give you a free stay where you would obviously make content and promote the hotel, but also you can shoot some extra videos, maybe like for a skincare brand inside the hotel, and you can actually get a lot of work done during that one night stay that you get. And also you can shoot your audition video. Sometimes we all wonder, how did she get such a beautiful background and a good background to shoot in? You can actually approach hospitality partners and because a lot of the hospitality industry did get affected during the pandemic and they do want promotion and visibility at this stage. So see which resorts or which hotels in your area and community you can approach and through people that you may know who may know the managers at a hotel or an owner of a hotel. It's a lot of networking when you go into a pageant and so you can actually shoot a lot of aesthetic content, not just for yourself, but also for them and see what steel you can strike. And so these are the various ways in which you can get sponsors on board for your pageant journey. There can be makeup and hair sponsors as well. That again depends on how much networking you have done and if a certain person, a hairstylist or a makeup artist or maybe just a salon wants to gift you their products which you can then talk about that they are a part of your routine. Only if you really trust the skills of these people. But first and foremost and the foundation of getting sponsors for your pageant is to know that they should also benefit from it. Do not hold on freebies and do not be that contestant who does not really acknowledge that they have also contributed to who you are and what you look like and everything that you are doing during your performance. They should be given due credit every single post and story and content and they should also feel valued that they also benefited from this association. That is all for today's video, guys. I hope you found this piece of information useful and let me know if you end up drafting a brief or a message and if you get any sponsors by approaching them by using the tips that I shared with you today. I wish you all the very best for this upcoming journey of yours and all the best for your pageants. And as always, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.